Well, I've got a big box here. Let's see what's in this. This is, uh, it's not actually that heavy. It's just bulky, which is probably a good sign because I mean, someone's probably done as I told them and put plenty of padding around something. Let's find out. All the corners all stoved in, so it's been thrown around a little bit. But hopefully they've packaged it well enough to survive that. Certainly looking promising. It does look like it's very promising. I'll get the box and I'll come back. Right, it's at the box. Let's go a bit further. I get criticism for using a ram stick as a knife. Here's one of my cats. But uh, the reason I use a ram stick is because it doesn't scratch things, or it's less likely to scratch things if you hit it with it. If you're using an actual shopper sharp knife, you're likely to cause damage. So this just helps to reduce that chance. Every video should have a cat now, I reckon. Well, there's a big split on there. Yeah, whether it was there before, who knows. I think I actually remember that actually, think about it. There's some minor damage to the back, but I think that was on the pictures. Do you know what it is yet? is the original front cover which is unfortunately is damaged but minor sacrifice um, I'd rather have the front panel front cover damaged than the actual front panel so hopefully that isn't an issue it's looking pretty good right so this is a you can see on there HP 3561A Dynamic signal analyzer. I think I'll get one of these for a little while. Yeah, what voltage is it to? 220 volts, it looks like. So I have to change that. In fact, I might do that right now. So it has a bit of damage on the back, and I did know about that. That is in the photos. Where well, this has been dinged here, the foot's been bent over. This was a slight bit of damage on these as well. These are slightly bent. I don't know if it matters or not. Um, the other feet look okay. So I wasn't too worried about that thing, but that's just some aluminium plate and I can dismantle this and straighten that back out again. It's not really a big deal. But uh, I don't know if it works. What's inside here? Spiders? No, nothing. Completely empty. So, yes. Thing to play around with. It may or may not work. I really don't know. Nothing feeling funny about any of them. BNC is not damaged. The screen looks like it's probably okay. So, excellent, we'll power this thing up. Right, let's power this up for the first time. I've got a power cable plugged in. I've already checked the voltage just before I plug the cable in, so it's doing 220 volts, which I'll go sludge slightly up. Turn it on. So we've got uh, 225 volts, 226 by the hoppy meter. Or even focus, probably not. Let's turn it on. There's no rattling inside. The pictures I saw online were with it powered up, so I'm fairly sure it's going to be all right. I've changed the voltage already on the bottom. Fan's pretty noisy. 
not surprising. Boot up sequence looks like it's completed. Maybe. Indicators. Yep, there we go, we've got a screen. System power on test error. So it does have some faults after all. You can see what I will, it's gone now. Power on test in progress, okay. So we testing itself. You go. 0726 and 0731 and it's doing its power and test again there was something else down the bottom here let me just um, zoom out slightly so it's faulty that's perfect RAM F does that mean it's got RAM failure hmm I'll have to do some research on this so, I actually have the service manual here for this thing, so I've done a really quick look up. I haven't actually done a proper diagnostics yet, but failure on test, failure, return code zero reexes, and apparently this is referencing test B. Now, test B is mentioned before this, mentioned over here, and test B is power supply. Excellent. This is promising. Dead power supplies I can deal with. So, um, excellent. So it probably just needs recapping. Watch out for the repair video on this thing. Could be easy. Could be hard. We'll find out.